5.30, the Reverend Raleigh Trammell back in court today, resuming the fight in his major legal battle. Good evening once again. I'm Mark Allen. And again, I'm Marsha Baumhart. We have been following Reverend Trammell's story for more than a year since his fall as the head of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. His troubles began with accusations that he was stealing money from that conference. In January of last year, the FBI raided Trammell's SCLC office in August. And last month, Trammell pleaded not guilty to more than 50 charges of theft, forgery, and tampering with evidence. Holly Samuels is live to tell us why Trammell is raising questions about his legal journey tonight. Trammell's attorney says he's skeptical of the court's intentions when it comes to his client's case, and today he put the brakes on everything. We are raising the issue of how this case got here into this court. Reverend Trammell appeared in a Montgomery County courtroom today without one of his trademark hats. Trammell's team claims the Reverend's case has been transferred from Judge A.J. Wagner's court to Judge Barbara Gorman's court without a good explanation. He says the judge to put an end, he asked the judge to put an end to the forward motion in the case until that question has been answered. Now a hearing which was scheduled for Friday has been stayed and all the players plan to reconvene coming up in March. Trammell is home on bond but he's under house arrest and today his attorney also asked the judge if the reverend could have permission to leave his home in order to go to church. That request was denied. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.